Hey YouTube, and I'm not really gonna do a long ass intro because it's already in the title. And I wasn't gonna do my intro with my hair tied up because I look like a freaking egg or a shopao. As you can see in the title, this is a makeup video, but this isn't really like this isn't like a tutorial because this is my first time doing this kind of makeup because I've been seeing all these glossy eyelid looks all over Instagram and I've been so intrigued I want it on my own eyelids but right now I just have I actually just got home and I have my no makeup makeup look ish I just have some lip tint here over here some tint here I have some highlight on my nose see that highlight over here and some mascara which I cannot be bothered to remove for this video so we're just gonna do it I only watch like one or two um, tutorials on this on YouTube and basically it's just put on your eyeshadow just go for matte because you're gonna have to put gloss over it and then yeah just put gloss over it basically just a side note I'm not like a professional or anything obviously because look at I don't even my brows aren't even clean I wanted to do this video when my brows are clean but I want to do it right now. For primer, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 35 Deep Fonts. Fonsy. Put some on my eyelids. When I play with makeup, I usually just do one eye. But then this is for YouTube, so I'm going to do both. And I'm actually going to be a bit inspired by Ariana Grande's look on Halloween. The red glossy eyes. Now, I don't usually apply the stuff on my lids with a brush. I usually just... It's my finger. A lot, a lot of these aren't cleaned. By the way. Anyways, we're just gonna pat this down, I guess. This is a lot of concealer. I don't even have like makeup wipes or cotton pads to remove these afterwards. I didn't really think this through. I just whipped out my camera and started putting makeup. I really love this concealer. And as usual, I'm working with like sunlight lighting, and the sun's already going down. I have a cold, so I'm sorry if all of that just sounds super gross to y'all. Gotta do what I gotta do. I just have this brush, a uh, brush from Miniso and a Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the shade Transparent. So I'm just gonna set the concealer with this powder real quick. It's my favorite setting powder, powder in general, matte powder. I've had this for a long time and I've had this for about a year now i bought i remember <laughs> what when i went and where i got i got this i got this at i got this at trafford center in manchester i think it's in, yeah it is in manchester because yeah and oh uh, uh, i'll just set i have every eyeshadow palette i have here i have like Naked 2 palette, the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbon, Beauty Killer, Kylie. Okay, I'm not gonna use Kylie. I don't have a lot of pinks. I only, the most pink I have are in the Chocolate Bonbon palette and Jeffree Star one, so I think I'm just gonna leave them all open here. So, for my crease, I'm gonna be using this brush and I'm gonna take teas from. Taste from the Naked 2 palette. Just a bit. I mean, it's a bit too dark to do transition shade. Transition shade. I'm just gonna build it a bit. So, put that all over my crease. I don't know if you can even tell, but I can. It's all that matters. So, while I'm doing my eyes, what are you guys doing? Please comment stuff below. Earlier, I said that I'm not a makeup artist, but I'm not also gonna. But also, I'm not gonna tell you that I'm crap at makeup, because I'm not pretty good. I'm a, I'm okay, because in school they actually asked me to do their makeup, and like we have plays and stuff. You take this bigger one and this bigger brush, Real Techniques. It's the deluxe deluxe crease brush and I'm gonna take this look at my eyes single shadow from it from it to the house it's really pretty I should have went for this first in the shade shade BR422 I've had this for ages and I haven't hit pan no matter how many times I actually use this thing 
See the pigment on that thing? It's so pretty. What am I looking at the viewfinder to blend the shadows? It's really bad. <laughs> see that? I don't know. I don't. I don't care if you can see it or not. All I know is I can see it, and it looks good. I need to go with the lighter hand. I'm just gonna tell you a little story time. Um, since this is my first makeup video, I might as well mention it. It's, that's quite nice. It's all right. See? See that? Um, I never knew that I would be into makeup. Because, I mean, I never, like, was like, Ew, makeup is free. That's so girly. I was never like that. <laughs> I first started getting into makeup because of Zoella. I would binge watch her videos. And then later on got so curious as to, like, why... Because makeup looked so fun. I'm just gonna take this random pinky mauve shade, which I will not show you because my setup is a mess. I'm just gonna put that in the crease. More defined with a more defined ish brush. That's how to do it. So, yeah, Zoella, I guess, got me into makeup. I was so like intrigued. It looks so fun blending and stuff. Besides her makeup videos being so entertaining for me. I didn't like I liked the idea of it of doing the makeup. I don't know. I can't even explain why it was in it was just interesting to me and looked fun. I was like I that looks something that I wanna look good. Now this looks a lot more better in real life than it does on the camera, but see that? By the way, I have zero, I don't have an actual plan on what to do with my eyes. I'm just going with pinks, and I'm putting a pop of red later. So yes, yeah, Zoella got me into makeup, and then I started ordering some stuff. My first palette was the Naked 2 palette, I know, how <laughs> fancy. <laughs> oh my god, it's so... I don't know what's in my eye. Ow, 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 something got into my eye. So this pa palette, palette was my first pet, and it came with this brush. It's just gonna blend that out a bit. Do I want a brighter pink? Yeah, I do, because I'm going with a bright, brightest red. Like, it's, I'm gonna be using a lipstick, which I've never, which I've also never done. I'm gonna take this again, and, 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 go back. Got a bit of Courtney from the. What is this? The Beauty Killer palette. So take a bit of Courtney and just pop. I don't know. I I can't explain what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to like blend out the edges a bit. I don't like do things professionally and stuff. I just do what I think I have to do with what I have. Blend out the edges just to make sure it's not that harsh. Honestly, take your time blending, unlike me who's trying to, like, not run out of storage. Taking this brush again, these real techniques, like, brushes are, like, my favorite, so... I think I'm gonna dip into Star Power, which is this bright-ass pink shade from the Beauty Killer palette. So pink! Okay, I'll just work it. I'm working, like, I'm trying to, oh my god, I'm trying to, like, keep it at the corner, but kind of working it towards the middle. I'm not gonna, like, curl it up too high, because I don't want it to mix the colors and just look like poo. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. This isn't even the part, this isn't even the purpose of the video. I'm literally just experimenting right now. What's always difficult for me is to do what I did to the other eye. See? That's like way out of the edge compared to this one. Pat that on instead. It's not as bright as the other eye. This is why I just do it on one eye. You know? Because I don't have to get stressed out. But then you don't go out with just one, with just one eye full glam, right? I mean, if you wanna, you can. If you can, you wanna. If you wanna, you can. There we go. Stop patting my brush into the color and just swipe it in instead. Okay. I love these pink eyes. I'm so 
fond of these now. Oh my god, I'm in love. Bring it up here in the middle a bit. That's what I love about this, the, uh, this brush. Like, brings it in this area. Like, see that crease area? It just fits perfectly for that. I'm gonna take back this, the darker pink shade I took earlier. And just really deepen up this corner. Just f concentrating it there, really. This is a mess. Oh my god. This is an actual. I mean, it's not that bad. Okay, with that color laid down, I'm just gonna take the fluffy brush from earlier and blend everything in. This is actually looking freaking bomb right now. Not gonna lie. Like, girl, I don't even want to put the red anymore. That's so pretty. Hi. So I had to switch cameras because you know, you two people. We film when we don't have any storage. Why is this so orange? Oh, because the sun's going down. And my other camera. It's, it's still, oh my god. But yeah, right now I just blend it up a bit more. So I think I'm content with that. And I planned on cutting my crease. But instead, since I'm already going to use like a, a pencil-ish. Actually, it's like a lip pencil. But then, so I'm just going to take this cheap ass soft lipstick it's you know the kiss proof brand it's those matte lipsticks and i got this as a freebie over from something i forgot what i finally realized a problem as to why it was getting the camera the camera wasn't the right way so now i have a little bit more time to film i'm just gonna take this and on this flat brush i'm just trying, I'm gonna try and put it on there i guess I mean, I could just put this directly on my eyelid, which I will later. I try this to like kind of cut it a bit, you know. And I wanna go close to you guys and do this. Do what an eye on camera, trial and error. Stop transferring onto my lid. And there we go. Mm. Oh my God. It's Patchy as heck. Got that cut crease, and I'm just gonna blend it a bit off camera and do the same to the other eye, and I'll update you later. I mean, it could look worse. It's actually a lot more orangey than I expected. I just need to do more of the. Just need to blend it a bit. This is looking really, really weird. This sudden, I had faith in this video, and it started off really good, and now I just mess it up with this thing on my eyes, this pilk. I'm just gonna try and blending it out if it wants to blend because it's really, really dry on my lids. And I think I did okay trying to save this look. Like it's doing okay now. It's still really unblended, and the pink is looking a little poopy right now, but. We gonna work for this, we gonna work, and the sun's going down as usual as I film something. It looks, it doesn't look as bad as it looks on camera, I'm just saying. I'm trying my best, you know, to just save this freaking look. Because this lipstick just doesn't want to blend. I'm just gonna pack on more of that pink to the middle and blend, blend, blend. Just trying to blend it as much as I could, really. I mean, after this, when I give up blending this red in, I'm just gonna pack on that gloss, you know? That's what we're here for. I think this is the best that we could go. No? But the cut, though, that I did is so clean. Besides the shadow itself, it ain't clean. Let's uh, blend a bit here. That red did not move at all. Okay, I'm just gonna cut a bit here, make it a little more cleaner. Take a bit of that concealer. I mean, that's okay. Not that bad. I mean, yeah, it's a little too high, but we'll work with it. And then this little stippling tiny brush. This tiny stippling brush, which I hope doesn't have any black eyeshadow in it, has it. Oh yeah, I did that too high. Well, that's okay. 
I'm gonna press it in to blend it. I'm try to blend out the concealer real quick. It really was, I mean, that's not that bad. It's already dried at this point. I mean, it's kind of clean. It looks better now, actually. It's time for the gloss. I mean, it doesn't look as bad now. It's actually looking quite good. Oh my god. It actually looks good in camera. Which is really good. I thought, like, in the videos, that they'd use some kind of special gloss for their eyelids. Only really, they were just using the glosses in the videos that I watched. I'm just gonna take a clean brush and just see them, like, gloss the back of their hands. Just got this one from Daiso. I'm praying for this part. I'll take a little brush, a little brush here. Part through this. Whoa! Oh my god. This is already so worth it. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so worth it. I mean, the Feeds the fact that it's supposed to be red. No, oh, that's okay. I'm so okay that it covers up. Really precise. I know what I'm doing for Halloween now. Oh my god, I love glossy eyes. Oh my god. I'm just gonna finish this up right now and gonna see how until where I'm gonna end the gloss at. So I'm just gonna finish this up real quick. Sun is down and my camera is dying, but it's just the look. And I just brought it out a bit here. And oh my god, I'm so in love. I love glossy eyes so much and I'm so happy. I'm actually really, really happy at how this turned out. I still don't know what to do with this part. Just end it there, I don't know. But Oh my god, this is a look. This is such a look. I'm gonna do more glossy videos. I'm just gonna end the video here before my camera dies, which it will die. So, if y'all want more makeup videos, because I love makeup actually, um, go give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and this look turned... There were a lot of ups and downs on this video, but we got this look. Oh my god. I'm not even gonna do my... The, the rest of my face because this is just a glossy eye look you know oh my god it's so pretty oh my god i love it so much and i'll see you guys in the next video more makeup videos i wish i want to so bad so give it a thumbs up subscribe with all the gloss in the back of my hand this look is so pretty i love it i love glowy looks so yeah Thanks for watching, you did. While I can film, I'm gonna like try and remove this makeup now. <laughs>